want to share this quote with you from JP Morgan's Marko Kalanovic, who said the following. It's not that we think the world and economies are in great shape, but just that the average investor expects an economic disaster, and if that does not materialise, risky asset classes could recover most of their losses from the first half. Now, it's not for me to disagree with the forecast. I just want to work through the process. Can I get your thoughts on that, Emily, that the average investor expects an economic disaster? Would that be your view? No, I definitely don't expect an, uh, an economic disaster. Uh, I do think we are in the middle of a bear market rally. And I, I uh, but to, to Taylor's point, stocks are certainly at a better value than they were at the first of the year. So I am, you know, I'm not a total bear by any means. And I think that if, for people with significant amount of cash on the sidelines, you know, the next few months is a, is a good time to be gradually putting that to work, especially because cash drag has, you know, two years ago, there wasn't a big penalty to a portfolio to holding huge amounts of cash. But no, I don't, I'm not expecting an economic disaster. I don't really think that retail investors or American consumers are either. I think you've got very, very record low sentiment and primarily because of inflation. Uh, but I think that the reason we're seeing this very robust bear market rally, which I think could easily continue uh, for, for you know a couple of weeks, is because you know people are relieved that that uh, that inve that things are not worse than they anticipated. So. Uh, so basically mixed answer to your question. There. Yeah, Morgan Stanley agrees with you, Emily. They think this can go on for a few more weeks, but ultimately it's the reality check that comes from earnings that takes us back down towards maybe 3,400. Krishna, what I'm trying to gauge is how low the bar is going into earnings season. I've got people telling me that the earnings expectations haven't been cut enough. I've got Marco Kalanovic over at JP Morgan and his latest research, which basically implies the bar is really low because the average investor expects an economic disaster. We won't get one and we can recover the losses of the first half. I guess from your perspective, Christian, which one is it? Well, so, you know, when the markets are, or uh, S&P, for example, is down less than 20 percent, that's uh, from a really high level. Uh, I don't think that's um, the markets expecting a, a total disaster. I think, and, and the other point is, whatever drawdown that you have in earnings is not going to happen this quarter. What we have is decent employment, decent growth, and, and that will show through in earnings. If there is an earnings revision, that probably, again, as I mentioned before, probably happens in, in uh, earliest, the fourth quarter, more likely in 2023. And it's not unusual uh, in, the, in a significant slowdown scenario for earnings to go down. That doesn't mean, but with multiples having already compressed, that doesn't mean that the markets could not rally. I think the driver for the market still is very much the direction of Fed policy. And that direction of Fed policy depends on the direction of uh, the, the, the slowdown that we can see in employment. If that materializes, I think we have a floor. If that doesn't materialize, and if the Fed is committed to killing headline inflation, then we are all doomed.